I wonder if you could do us a favour. At the end of your time listening to Morning Prayer today, then I wonder if you could go to our website and provide some feedback for us. Uh, go to the website stroud.church forward slash feedback. stroud.church forward slash feedback. And of course, there's a link on this uh, below the video or on the web page, wherever you're looking at this. Thank you. Morning prayer for Thursday, the 16th of June. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 8, beginning at the second verse. Our first reading today is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 8, beginning at the second verse. Remember the long way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness, in order to humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandments. He humbled you by letting you hunger, then by feeding you with manna, with which you, neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted, in order to make you understand that one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. The clothes on your back did not wear out, and your feet did not swell these forty years. Know then in your heart that as a parent disciplines a child, so the Lord your God disciplines you. Therefore keep the commandments of the Lord your God, by walking in his ways and by fearing him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with flowing streams, with springs and underground waters welling up in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land where you may eat bread without scarcity, where you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron from, and from whose hills you may mine copper. You shall eat your fill and bless the Lord your God for the good land that he has given you. Take care that you do not forget your, the Lord your God by failing to keep his commandments, his ordinances and his statutes, which I am commanding you today. When you have eaten your fill and have built fine houses and live in them, when your herds and flocks have multiplied and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions. He made water flow for you from flint rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know, to humble you and to test you, and in the end to do you good. The second reading is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, beginning at the first verse. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, 
that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink for they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them and the rock was Christ. Nevertheless, God was not pleased with most of them and they were struck down in the wilderness. Now these things occurred as examples for us, so that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not become idolaters as some of them did. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and they rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality as some of them did. And 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put on, we must not put Christ to the test as some of them did and were destroyed by serpents and do not complain as some of them did as were destroyed by the destroyer these things happened to them to serve as an example and they were written down to instruct us on whom the ends of the ages have come so if you think you are standing watch out that you do not fall no test no testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from the worship of idols. I speak, to, I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. The cup of blessing that we bless is not a sharing, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread we break, is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? Because there is one bread. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. We'll spend a minute or so in prayer. Today we'll remember the poor. The poor amongst us in our own communities. Those struggling to make ends live, uh, make ends meet in this cost of living crisis. poor in our towns and cities, those with nowhere, the homeless, those that live in shelters and um, midway housing. Well, remember the poor across the world those who live on less than 50 pence a day, who long for clean water, steady food supply and simple health care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament that you've given us the memorial, memorial of your passion. Grant 
us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.